In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go from Revit into a VR presentation. Let's go. Before we jump into Revit, I would quickly like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. That's where you can find all of my Revit courses. I've got over 140 hours of content and I'm adding more each month. Also there you can find some of my ready to go customized Revit templates. You can find some really high quality parametric Revit families and we also have a plugin which might interest you too. Okay. So now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit, and this is my office building project, and this is what I'm going to be using for uh, creating a VR presentation. And it's actually going to be really easy and simple, and you don't have to pay for anything apart from uh, these uh, VR glasses for your phone, which I got for like $15. So you don't really have much to pay, and you get an amazing VR uh, presentation. Everything is going to be inside of Revit using cloud rendering. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do first is go to my ground level and then let's create a view here. So I'm just going to create a camera view going like this looking at the building. We're not going to care that much about this because it's going to be a panorama so I don't really care. Uh, I'm just going to go here and just uncheck all of the extents, hit apply, okay. And then what I like to do is go here to my uh, full navigation wheel and use the look uh, option just to see kind of what uh, this is going to look like. And in this case, it works. I'm happy with it. You can always use the arrow keys to move around back and forth, left and right, uh, just to kind of position the camera properly. And once you're happy with it, uh, what you want to do next is just exit out of the full navigation wheel. You then want to go to the view tab. And then here under presentation, we have cloud rendering. You're just going to open that up and then go here to render in cloud. Then we're going to hit continue. And then here we have uh, some settings. Uh, so you have to have obviously your Autodesk account and be logged in. So here this is going to be the view that we're going to be rendering. You can see we can check multiple ones. The output is going to be a uh, stereo panorama. This is what I'm going to use. Uh, the render quality, I'm just going to leave it at standard, exposure at advanced, and the width at, well, this value. However, you can make it better, uh, and that is going to uh, cost you some credits. So in this case, I'm just going to go with the kind of the, the, the free option in terms of uh, cloud credits. And uh, we can just start rendering. Uh, you can check, uh, email me when complete. This is going to take uh, a little bit longer because it is uh, kind of a VR rendering, but in this case, uh, I'm just going to leave that unchecked and click on start rendering. So it's going to give you this menu uploading scene to be rendered. And that's pretty much it. Now what you'll notice here, it's rendering in the background. And if I click on this, and then here, uh, I can go and uh, I can find render progress. And that's going to open up a tab here on my computer or in my web browser. And here, what you'll notice is we have all of my renderings. So this is the office building uh, project that is rendering right now. Now, once the rendering is completed, that it's going to look like this. So as you can see, it's not much, especially looking at it like this. However, you do have the option here to open rendering on a phone. So it's going to generate a QR code for you. And then if I just take my phone and I'm just going to scan that QR code, it's going to give you a link. So once you have this link, you're just going to click on that and go to website. And now it's going to be opening up that uh, rendering. And this is what that's going to look like. So now when you place this inside of your VR uh, goggles, it's going to uh, give you the, uh, it's going to give you basically VR uh, for your project. And this is the end result. I can now see the building. It looks good. I can look around. Obviously, this isn't going to give you kind of the, 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 the perfect look or the perfect effect, but I think it's really good kind of as a test 
for VR. Obviously, I would recommend getting some VR goggles because this is terrible and it's hurting my eyes, so I'm going to stop now. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to get this Revit project file, uh, you can find it on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up just below this video in the description and up in the cards above. That's where you can find all of my Revit project files. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.